Hey guys, Toolman Tim here. Welcome back to the workshop where we build business, create community, find freedom, and share success. It's Wednesday morning, which means it's time for another Tool Time Gear review. And as always, I've got something interesting for you. This week, I want to share with you something I've been wanting to get for a while. I've wanted to do some head-to-head -head testings on some batteries, alkaline, and rechargeables to see whether they're worth your money, worth my money, whether the companies are being honest to us or just lying to our face. So I thought, I need to come up with something. I love my PowerX charger. Well, it turns out that they make a charger and battery analyzer, which will give you the capacity of your batteries. So hang in there. I'm going to tell you all about what I just picked up. Alright guys, real quick before we dive into the review, if you want to know more about who I am, run by the website at toolmantim.co. That'll tell you everything you need to know about who I am, social media links, podcast, weekly audio version, the monthly newsletter, and everything else there is. So run by there, check it out, and hang around. Hit that subscribe button if you're new here, guys, and interact in the community. Okay, so you guys know that to me, backup power and emergency preparedness is a really important part of life. It's all about being prepared when the power goes out or if you have issues, anything like that. Always need to have a generator, but one of the most important things to have around the house is batteries because you're going to use them all the time. So, you know, use them, have a good charger that's going to take care of them. And of course, you guys know that I'm always looking at different types of rechargeables, seeing what I can figure out is the best value. I love my Antelope batteries, but I've been seeing some really neat, interesting um, topics online about the uh, IKEA Lada batteries, if I pronounce that right, being Antelopes in disguise and that sort of thing. And I want to compare the Amazon Basics to uh, normal rechargeables, all of that. So I wanted to get a new charger, but I also thought, hey, you guys would probably really appreciate knowing about this charger analyzer because there's a lot of battery geeks and nerds out there that like to know whether you're getting your bang for your buck in your battery or if you're just looking for a high quality charger that also has some extra functions. So, of course, I went to PowerX, uh, Maha Energy, really well known in prepping circles, really well known in any emergency preparedness, uh, you know, battery rechargeable kind of field. They seem to be top notch or one of the top ones, always been well recommended to me. And this is my second one because you guys know the old two is one, one is none thing. Well, the old one, uh, the, the eight port that I still use all the time and it's really quick, I was always worried because it has a proprietary cord on it. And if I broke it, cut it, I'm not gonna be able to just run to the store and pick up a replacement. So the first thing I noticed when I opened up the box, other than this really nice heavy brick of a charger with a nice uh, backlit LCD screen, was this off the shelf common AC adapter that comes with it. So to me, that in a pinch, I can probably skype one of them from one of the kids toys or something else in the house. Honestly, to me, that's worth a lot. And if I do break it, I know I can order a generic replacement online for a heck of a lot cheaper than going back and getting a replacement straight from the company. So the model number is MH-C800, 4.6 stars out of just over 100 reviews on Amazon. It's a little in the expensive territory. I paid not quite $100 Canadian for it, but it is a tool and it is a really well-built battery charger. So what's in the box? course you get this nice charger four ports it'll do double a's or triple a's and if you have the right adapters you can even put bigger ones in there from what i've been told uh, the nice ac adapter cord and a yellow and black box <laughs> they give you a link to the getting started video that's definitely worth uh, showing uh, a bunch of generic paperwork and that's really all that comes with it but honestly, all I cared about was this. I checked every single day, waiting for it to show up, waiting for it to show up, and they would never update the tracking information. It set in Toronto for like nine days, and then all of a sudden it was here. And I was like a kid at Christmas, and I was happy, and had a new toy to play with, and gonna make a whole bunch of videos with this thing. It'll handle nickel metal hydrate and NICAD batteries, um, run them through their paces. So I wanted to, not a lot of people show you how these really work. So. Let's cut to some footage I got here for you. I'll show you an up-close view of this, cycle through the different things, then I'll come back and explain things real quick to you. Now plug it in, I'll show you what it does. The LED will light up and it will cycle through. So that'll give you, this is what it does here. And now it is ready to program. So first, you've got four modes. You've got charge, you've got break-in, you've got discharge, and you've got refresh, analyze. 
charge is pretty straightforward. So we hit the up on top here, you've got slot, enter, and then up or down for the mode buttons. So we'll put a battery in there. Now it's going to ask me. So we're going to go down, see from charge to break in to discharge. Break in you can use for brand new batteries if you want, but honestly for me, the big reason I bought this was for the, the charge function, of course. So you can hit that, you hit enter, that brings you in. Now you can set your milliamp hours. There is a chart in the manual that tells you what to use, but it's basically about two thirds of the, uh, the milliamp hour rating is what the milliamp uh, charge rate will be. So that shows you that. Now, let me show you something. I'm gonna unplug this guy. I'm gonna put four batteries in it. And what I like about it is you don't have to set those settings for each one. So we'll let it cycle through and then we'll go into the charge function here. So we'll go back up charge. We're going to hit enter. We're going to 1200 is what we want. Now we're going to hold the enter down instead of just clicking it quick. And there, now it's going to do all four. And as it runs, you'll see it cycle through. It tells you how long it's been, the current voltage on the batteries, the milliamp that's in it. Uh, there you are. And the charge rate that it's using. That's the four things it cycles through. So there's that. All right, now we'll unplug it, reset it, show you again, we'll let it cycle back through. And we'll show you the other option here. The other one that I really, now refresh analyze is a specialty feature that only, well, not many have, but warning you, reading online, they said it can take between 39 and 48 hours. And it will literally charge, discharge, charge, discharge, and bring back batteries that are not chargeable at all. And then we're gonna go down to discharge. We're gonna hit enter. Now this is the rate. Uh, 300 milliamp seems to be the best balance. You can go a lot higher than that. You can go way up and kill them at a full amp right there. Oh, there, 0.1 of an amp. Anyway, basically uh, this is the rate that it will drain the juice out of it. And then when it's done, it's gonna tell you what the total capacity of those batteries were. I've been testing it on alkaline batteries. It works really well as well. Do one each individually. And there you are. And if you want to scroll through your slots to see what the current um, conditions of the battery and set are, you can just hit the slot button on top and that takes you through. So I hope this up close was uh, informative for you, show you how it works. We'll go back out to the workshop. Okay, so I hope that up close look really helped. Um, just wanted to show you guys exactly what this thing is capable of, and I'm still learning. Uh, I figured out how to drain alkaline batteries and get the milliamp hour rating on them, and I figured out how to charge and discharge rechargeable batteries. There's a little bit of a learning curve, but it's definitely worth taking the time, playing with the product, and getting to know how exactly it works. So, like I said, it's a little more expensive. Uh, if it had an 8-port version, that would be my daily driver for rechargeable um, batteries, because... Eight seems to be about, you know, a lot of times I'll let eight or 10 of them get dead at one time. I don't like just having to charge, haul the charger out, run four through it, run four more, but that, that's okay. I like that it takes double A's and triple A's, which is a bonus. Um, the dis, honestly, I just bought it for the discharge and the charge cycles. The, uh, the break-in, I guess, doesn't seem to be something that's really well used. If it's something you guys are more aware of, let me know. And the refresh, uh, what do they call that guy on the front there? Refresh analyze mode. Um, apparently can bring back to life dead batteries, batteries that will not be charged by any other charger. But like I said in the, uh, the earlier part of the video, it can take up to 48 hours to run through. So be wary of that. So if you guys are looking for a, you know, <laughs> brick shithouse style, uh, bulletproof kind of charger that has some extra features, some extra functions that you, you know, want to know if you're getting your money's worth out of, then this might just be the charger for you. Uh, like I said, what I love about it, of course, is the universal AC adapter. To me, that's worth a ton compared to the other PowerX that I have that has its own proprietary charger. Get with it, Maha Energy. You can do better than that. I'm sure there's way more into it than I know. But anyway, so yeah, if you guys are looking for a really good, really solid, uh, fully featured battery charger that'll charge them in an hour, this just could be one for you to look at. If you're interested, I got a link in the description below. You can check it out um, and go from there. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed my look at the new PowerX Maha Energy uh, Charger Analyzer. And if you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button, stick around if you're new, interact in the community in the comments below, give me video ideas that you'd love to see, and just 
keep coming around guys we got an awesome community here where so many of my video ideas come from exactly you guys right there so thanks a lot well that's it for me this week guys i hope you appreciated it and as always stay happy stay healthy and have a great week